Today's video is brought to you by my sponsor, Ridge Wallet, a sponsor that wanted to publicly embarrass me by showing you this lovely Velcro wallet. Yeah, that used to be my old wallet. And yeah, I know, I know, laugh, get it out of your system. But ever since I switched to Ridge's wallets, which have the super light, sleek, industrial design, I mean, just on their website, you can see they got like 30 colors and styles. Carbon fiber being my personal favorite. And it's got room for 12 cards plus cash. I mean, imagine if you couldn't carry cash in your wallet, right? I mean, most people are using wallets like this, right? Wallets like the Velcro 90s design. And you're probably carrying super old receipts. You're probably carrying super old things in the wallet. So why not switch to something new? I mean, listen, you already use smartphones. You already use modern day stuff. Give your wallet game a little bump up, ladies and gentlemen. And for all those people paranoid of digital pickpocketers, it also also has RFID blocking. That being said, one of the most uh, bold claims is actually saying it has a lifetime warranty. Yes, you can buy one wallet and have it for life. But not only that, you can even take it for a test drive, and if you don't like it in 45 days, you can give it right back, ladies and gentlemen. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com SOG. Use the code SOG and save yourself 10%. That being said, let's get right into the video. Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome back to another Deep Web Browsing. I know I missed last week and I missed this Sunday, but uh, I was a little wrapped up with a lot of things. Uh, PS5 is on the way and I got a bunch of stuff there. I have a cooking video that I have to sort of get done with. There's a, there's a, bit, there's a bit behind the scenes going on, ladies and gentlemen, but not enough that we can't cap off a week, kind of, with some dank web browsing. So sit back, relax, ladies and gentlemen, because we got a smorgasbord to go through. I can't believe I'm using that word for crying out loud, but hey, guess what? There was no crazy civic guy that rushed past me, so I'm actually pretty happy. All things considered, I know I went through three emotional episodes, but let's get to the very first website. Oh, jeez! You never get a boring episode of Dank Web Browsing, do you? Chakras, horse, equine chakra, and energy alignment specialists. Well, you know, I gotta say, after all these years, after all of my life experiences, and after... Uh, I would say over 150 episodes of Deep Web Browsing, over 200 episodes, I never once thought, for a second, that I'd be looking at horse chakras. What the actual, ever-loving, you-know-what am I looking at? Let's go into it. The foremost expert in the, har uh, uh, in the, in the art of harmonizing and balancing the horse chakras. So, uh, yeah, go dog. Let's heal now. Let's go into it. Uh, single consultation, uh, couples guidance, and group coaching. All right, so... Discover my horse chakra. So for an hour, mm, I have to pay $150? What? Uh, $500 for three hours. We help couples connect with their horse. All right, for $500 for three hours, you get to connect with my horse. And then group coaching where you get to evaluate your whole stable. This is a six hour thing and it's a fucking thousand. All right, let me read more on the group coaching. I, I just, I just want to see this shit real quick. So here they've got beautiful pictures of horses. And admittedly, these are some really beautiful, cute horses. You know, if I'll be real with you, uh, I, I'm just going to stop right there before I say anything cancelable. We will evaluate your stable of horses and provide an analysis of your child chakra alignment issues one bad apple can spoil the barrel just as one misaligned chakra can spoil the stable i bet but you have to hire the fucking pulitzer prize winners to write that one didn't you uh book online can you actually book this online there's no way you can book this online oh my god you actually can book this online this is insanity uh, there is a service for almost every single person out there a God! All right, let's go to the couple's guidance. I want to read what's about the couple's guidance. Uh, three hours. So this is obviously a, a loving a loving wife and husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, anything. Uh, the personalized session will help us connect you and your partner to a horse more than you have ever experienced. Oh, am I going to get a fucking three-way with the horse? What the hell, dude? <laughs> what the fuck? And then here's like a single horse analysis, which is like, here, I'm going to get the horse chakra right there. Uh, but yeah, that, that exists. So let's let's see the chakra chart real quick. So these are horse chakras, right? So you've got the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the brow, the crown, the brachial, and the butt and sensory. God fuck, I wonder what the butt and sensory shit's going to be about. They're receptive to subtle energy vibrations. 
All right. Well, by the way, these are some cute fucking horses. And if you thought that this was like a joke, they 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 are committed to it, ladies and gentlemen. God damn. Uh, you can't you can't deny. All right. Let's see what let's see what the heart is all about. Right. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> Solar plexus. All right. You know enough about. Let me go to the about section. Okay. Let's just let's just go to the about section. Uh, Phoenix and Harmony have provided personalized professional equine chakra alignment services since '98, and have been professionally licensed spirit tamers. So this is like this is like a fucking real thing. They've been professionally licensed. Like, okay, you know, I know that I've been like kind of fucking skeptical about the whole thing, but in reality, like they're providing a source of service. Like they're not harming anyone, right? Like they're not harming the horse, as far as I know. And who gives a shit, man? If somebody wants to connect with their horse and the, and the, and they feel that five hundred dollars is the price for it, then you know, God bless. It's just capitalism in a nutshell. People, they have a service, all right. They have built it. People have come, and that's just what it comes down to. So. Mm. You know what? I've, I I'm 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 all bored with what Phoenix and Harmony are about. Our hope at Hot Cock Koch, okay, is to provide you with information and services to help you make an informed decision about how best to treat horse chakra alignment. All right, so they've got like a fucking treatment plan, openness optimization, which is cat poo. Oh come on, come on, Hot Cock and cat poo. You know, I really should start mixing more vodka with this if I'm going to do this during everything. Come on. Mm. Hot cock and cat poo. What is this? Let's go. to. Oh, this is back to the service. What's the treatment plan about? The cat poo plan is $1,500 for the one hour and then to ma do a cat poo maintenance of the one fifteen an hour. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I, I swear. God, give, God, give me. God, give me strength. God, just give me the strength that I need. Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, if you needed your fucking horse chakra aligned, this is the site. This is where I know there was at least one person, law of numbers, watching deep web browsing that was like, fuck, I need my horse chakra aligned. This is your episode. And I hope you and I hope you get your horse fucking chakra aligned, ladies and gentlemen, because I know that I am going to the next website. Oh, no, not this. No, the red rooms. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, red rooms are, are a myth that has existed on deep web time for, for, for as long as I could remember. And unfortunately, I would say that there's plenty of channels on YouTube and a lot of these like absolute smooth brains that almost perpetrate this and make it seem like it's more real than it is. And I want to be the one to say it and tell you there's no such thing as a red room on the deep web. Just a quick cursory technological assessment will tell you that the Tor relay that we use to browse the deep web does not have enough like speed for people to stream murder to a bunch of people around the world. It's not how mafia works, okay? You get that? Now, that being said, that's not to say that fucked up things can't happen on the internet. Hell, if you want to talk about fucked up stuff, there's probably more messed up shit going on on Facebook Live than the deep web ever could have, all right? Just because it's a lot more easier to stream there, and it's a lot more, and I mean, even if you get caught by Facebook, there's a lot you can do to cut off that trail and stay safe from any form of uh, enforcement. But that said, ladies and gentlemen, on the deep web, it's just a scam. Now, this website, to some people who have just come to this series, would be like, oh, this might be real. But to a lot of you astute ones that have stuck around with me long enough, know that this is bullshit. Red Room, you could be a spectator, take, in a, take part in this once-in-a-lifetime experience. The remaining still access points, access tight, they can't even spell access right. Now, here's a spectator you can pay 0.2 BTC and watch. As a commander, you get to be the master of the torture. You pay 1 BTC. As a grand master, I don't know what the fuck that adds to the whole scenario, you get to pay 5 BTC. Now, they've also made their websites more realistic, like, hey, let's get the last event downloaded. Oh, let's, let, let, let's try the last event. Can we download that? Oh, what's that? To gain access to the last event video, pay the entrance. After confirmation, you'll get full access. And here they've got a Bitcoin wallet and a Bitcoin address. Please don't share the video, which, of course, people will. Old member, contact us for a discount. Set up instructions you'll get on your account page. We recommend Tails Live USB. So again, this is just to let you know, ease people in like, oh, we know how to really stay quiet. This is what they're mentioning. Tails, which is a portable operating system that protects you against surveillance and censorship. Very useful if you're browsing the deep web, you know, on like a, a system or anything. Very useful if you're a 
political dissident or a journalist that's in like a very dangerous area. This is a very good operating system. Nothing to do with the Red Room. These people are just using it to add legitimacy to their bullshit. Now, what pisses me off the most about this is that it works. This is a scam that works. Okay, so let me let me show you why. If you take this Bitcoin address, and the way that Bitcoin works is if you go to the blockchain, like blockchain.com, you can type this exact address and get a history of it. Uh, when I was being quote unquote blackmailed by somebody who said they had like saucy videos of me, they told me to send money to a Bitcoin wallet, which I didn't do. All right, I, I checked it out and I saw, hey, are they are they successful? Now in this case, this is that same Bitcoin address we saw uh, from here, right? Like the same address, bam, bam. And it has eight transactions, okay? That means they, the people actually fucking fell for this. They actually gave these people money. Like fucking idiots. And as you can see, they had received 0.24 BTC. And then they also sent the same amount, meaning that they sent it across multiple other uh, Bitcoin wallets or sort of a way to like mix and launder the money. Like there still needs to be laundering because you do have to realize with the blockchain, you have a public ledger of all transactions. So it can be easy to find out which account will have this money. That's why you have to go through a million mixing rule. Like you have to, you have to mix the cash. You have to like blend all your... <clears throat> A cryptocurrency so that when you start dissipating it to your uh, final balance accounts right like it goes through so many like bounces that the money trail <coughs> i wouldn't say that it disappears <coughs> excuse me i wouldn't say the money trail disappears it just it, it becomes a situation where it's almost nearly impossible to trace every bitcoin that's went around right so that's kind of what it's like a advanced money laundering for the deep web uh, but yeah, as you can see that they've been they've been getting money in transactions, right? Now, if you look at the USD chunk, all right, currently they got three thousand six hundred dollars, all right. And as you can see, people sent the money like they kept sending them three hundred and six dollars to their account, uh, which I, no, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, is that them sending it or whatever? I don't know. That's them sending it off over there. But they've been getting transactions up the wazoo. Uh, all around. So they've been getting hundreds upon hundreds of dollars from random people. So these people have been paying 306 bucks, right? So for instance, this account paid to them, which is 306. I think that's what they made. Uh, this was literally very recently. So 2020 1106. I want you to understand that's literally last week that they were transacting this money. Like they were transacting this like no tomorrow. In the last couple weeks, they made like three thousand dollars so this scam fucking works they all it takes for them is to set up a cheapo landing page siphon cash out of somebody and then ghost them immediately so fuck red rooms they don't exist and if you're gonna be paying for murder fuck you that is disgusting all right but at the end of the day not only is it disgusting you are a fucking idiot because not only did you give them money, you definitely didn't get anything in fucking return. And you want to know why I can wager my nuts on that? It's because I've seen the same landing page millions of fucking times. It's a generic landing page you can download, paste, and go away. All right? That's all it is. But people fall for this shit. And it works! What do you want me to say? It's stupid. But that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop. We're going to back out. And uh, we're going to go somewhere else. Hell yeah, the Stealth Skater Archives. <laughs> All right, what the fuck? Uh, okay, you know what? The Stealth Skater Archives. Mm. Whew. First off, I got to say, this is an HTML eyesore. Like, if I, was, if I was a web design teacher, failure. But then again, this website looks like it was programmed with 90s design ethics. So let's go into it. Information regarding advanced psychics and cosmology. Okay, UFOs, both ET and man-made. All right, we got a little bit of both. Okay, we got a little, we got a little bit of the truth and a little bit of the little bit of non-truths. The Philadelphia Experiment and Montauk Project. Didn't know about that. Military hardware and technology, psychic remote viewing and time travel. Uh. You know what I just got reminded? You ever heard of that game PsyOps? All right, the MindGate conspiracy. That that just flushed into my head. All right, so if you ever played that game, good game. And if you've never played that game, you owe it to yourself to find a copy of it on the Xbox, the PS2, or the or the Wii Zapper, whatever you can find it on, because uh, it's a game worth playing. But anyways, the site attempts to. So let, let's let's do the right thing, okay? Because these are because this is a terribly placed site, but because I'm using Manjaro Linux. Very good default green fixes it. So the site attempts to correlate different phenomenon by relating them to new advancements in science. 
In other words, all these advanced phenomena may be part of the very same animal contained within a broader scientific umbrella and well grounded in advanced mathematics. Big words. Uh, these individual phenomena may be part of the very same animal contained within a broader scientific umbrella and well grounded in advanced mathematics. I have collected lots of information over the years. And the key parts of this is referenced uh, in uh, in the site. I don't pretend to have answers for much of this, whose truths may or may not be uncovered or revealed during my lifetime, but I do not have opinions which may or may not agree with yours. Fair, fair enough. This is not a fancy site. Oh, I, I could fucking tell. No bells and whistles or eye-catching graphics. That's a fucking lie. I put it together quickly just to serve as a convenient mechanism to access documents. I'll update it. As time permits, and I become aware of new developments, the links that I have posted are only a small sample of many more fine sites, which I haven't had the time to peruse. If one of those is not listed here, it was not my intention to slight it. I enjoy researching material on these topics which challenge my intellect and stretch my boundary of the unfathomable. I, of course, cannot vouch for its accuracy, and what you do with it is strictly up to you. At the very least, I hope I saved you some surfing time and gave you something which may be useful in your own investigations. Good luck and email me if you find something of significance. Okay, so I want you to know the, the first update was 2013. So this isn't a fucking old website, okay? I'm not... Mm -mm. You don't get to fucking say I don't have fancy graphics when your website looks like it was made in the 90s. You have lost that privilege. But I want to see how updated this actually gets to. Uh, where it is, it's literally 20, 2020 this year. Like 4 18, 20. So this is like an updating website. This is not a dead website so far. It was recently updated as far as my books are considered. Uh, so let's go look around over here. Okay, let's just click one random thing that I find interesting. How the body ages. That's fine. I already know how the body ages. Uh, understanding UFOs top secret military bases area 51 we've already seen it was AF was jfk assassinated because of demanding ufo info uh probably uh no I, I i refuse to confirm that conspiracy all right the u.s navy pilots encounter ufos a lot of this stuff like maybe i've looked at so many conspiracies none of this is really crazy all right let's go look at the ww2 nazi bell was it actually uh was it was it was it actually a UFO? Nazi Bell. Alright, here it is. So he's got a bunch of He's got a bunch of, of things over here. So let's uh let's let's look at let's look at this. Nazi technology might be the origin of the 20th century flying saucer phenomenon. Okay. So let's see how this one gets down to. Many authors suspect American intelligence operations lay behind early UFO claims and counterclaims. Likewise, the researchers remain convinced that Nazis should be the cause célèbre, cause célèbre of these uh, 1950s flaps and subsequent cover-ups. So, uh, Joseph Farrell wrote in a book, Saucerous, Swastikas, and Psyops challenged the popular notion that extraterrestrials explain UFOs. Instead, he theorizes flying saucer appearances after WW2 are better explained by an unexpected evolution of Nazi technology post-war WW2. Uh, the purveyor, purveyors of the secret capability were scientists smuggled out of Germany, escaping the grasp of both Americans and the Soviets. So this is like some anti-Operation Paperclip. Like, if you don't know what Operation Paperclip was, basically after WW2, uh, the United States, like the CIA and like the, uh, the KGB uh, for the Soviets back in the day would like go on a recruiting campaign where they would like extract like Nazi scientists and they would like grab them, put them on one side or the other side of the iron curtain, whatever, whatever side they ended up on. And they would then use their understanding because you got to understand, right? Like the Nazis had like advanced tech at the time. Like their missile tech was probably the most advanced you could ever find as far as I know when it came to the V2 rockets. And so America would like get all those scientists and then like they would use that technology to make their tech better. Yeah, it was messed up that they helped them out, but America looked at it as a situation where they could get, you know, a, a better technological deal out of it. I mean, you have to understand, this was towards the whole end of the war when the Nazis were losing. So, uh, yeah, quick Operation Paperclip history. I'm sure you can find a much more thorough explanation of it. But, yeah, that's effectively what they were going on with. And I guess what came down to it is, like, somehow they also had, like, UFO technology. And I guess maybe it was, like... Like, I mean, this is very, very detailed in depth, right? But, like, maybe I can believe this because if they were so technologically advanced, maybe they had better aircraft. Uh, maybe it wasn't aliens. I don't know. Again, this is just one, like, mention over here, one argument. But what I do know is that 
it, there's no doubt that Nazi Germany had like advanced technology, right? Like technology that would rival that. That's why they were effectively also a superpower with the United States and, and the Soviets and, and the Chinese at the time. Like this was this was a big, big nation. Um, and before its collapse, you know, they, 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 they definitely had some very smart, although very fucked up minds working there. So, yeah, no, I can definitely kind of see this connection, but I don't think there's a whole lot to go with. Like the site does provide like a whole lot of, um, it provides, I would say a whole lot of information, right? Like it does and a whole lot of sources. And, and I guess I'd really have to sit down and read more of it, which I probably will because this is a really, really badass website, right? And it just has sources for everything that you could go down with. Uh, and if you look around, right, they've got small gallery of UFO photos within the field, famous UFO incidents, including Bentwater, Iran, Cuba, US AFB and nuclear weapon storage site intrusions, Pine Gap, Australia. I feel like a lot of this shit, man, might actually be straight up illegal ufo men in black like the, the, the you have to understand like this isn't a joke man like these people are really putting in their time and effort into trying to prove something and again i'm not going to say anything it just feels like i need to read way more into this like this is it, it feels like i'm scraping into a rabbit hole right like it just feels like i'm scraping into something uh there's a good chance that a whole heck of this is some bs but then there's also a chance that maybe there's some information in this that people are just going into. That's the crazy stuff about this, right? Like, yeah, they also promote you to do a Google search of any subject as well. So so there is the promotion of, like, fact-checking, which I honestly, if a, if a conspiracy site does that, that's a pretty that's a pretty good, good, good thing in my book, I would say, right? Now, here they say Timeline of Secret Government Projects, which, like, here's a website called Sign of the Times. Uh, want to keep signs alive? Donate today. I think this is a more religious-oriented website, but I mean, there's nothing fucking wrong with that. They start mentioning Star of Sorcerers, so, like, we're dude, we're just going into, like, this is what happens with some of these websites, right? Like, you click on one link, and you're automatically, with before you think about it, you're fucking balls deep in, 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 the, in, the, in this quest for truth or something, right? Like, you're just already this deep into it. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind it's kind of insanity. Now there is more stuff, right? Like interesting websites that are still being reviewed. So this is like, again, another like deep dive into other rabbit holes. So other black projects of special note. And if you open it, right, like other black programs, like, like deep, like hidden programs, like artichoke Delta winged craft with trailing edge comprised of many triangular teeth. Like this is just the, the, dude, this is crazy, man. This is insane. Like, I, I don't, I don't even know what to say to this. I don't even know what to say to this. This is, there is some information that's so fucking new to me that I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm actually speechless right now. Like in for analysis of Bob Lazar's claims, Gordon novel on UFOs, MJ 12 stargates politics. Like this is a conspiracy smorgage board, more material that may be semi related to the UFOs. And then they start talking about, like, background reading of UFOs in, in, in Area 51. And, and what is this? The Men in the Glass, Dale Wimbro, 1895 to 1954. When you get what you want in the struggle for self and the world makes you king for a day, just go into the mirror and look at yourself and see what man has to say. For it isn't your father or mother or wife whose judgment upon you must pass. The fellow whose verdict counts most in your life is the one staring back from the glass. So, you know. Wow. I have to be real with you. There's so much information here present that it's going to take months to sift through and vet on their own. But I, I think I'm going to confirm it for myself that this is a rabbit hole I definitely want to confirm. I have not heard of Stealth Skater, and I'm pretty into a lot of the uh, deep like Reddit investigation channels and YouTube and communities that this should have popped up on my radar sooner, but it hasn't, so... I don't want to claim it, but I think, like, maybe we found a rabbit hole that is pretty fucking virgin and untouched. But that being said, though, I don't want to, like, just jump into this. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to back out. I am going to save this, and I'm going to privately assess it over the next couple months. And maybe, maybe down the road you might see a longer video out of this. I'm not so sure. Uh, this could just be hot fucking air. But uh, I think it's worth a check, you know. I, th I think it's worth the assessment. I think it's worth the time investment at least, given that it's all really new to me. <laughs> so let's back out and uh, let's uh, go somewhere else. How souls are recycled in the moon and sun. Trick by the light. 
are you? How souls are recycled as energy? Huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Life and Death, How to Win the Game of Life and Exit the Illusionary Matrix that we dream. <sighs> there can never be one fucking normal sight about bronies or, you know, furry shit. Hmm. It always has to come down to this shit, dude. Trick of the Light. The website is dedicated to exploring the question of whether the white light reportedly experienced in death is the best option or whether it may be a portal to an eventual reincarnation on Earth. Interesting. I've never thought of it that way, actually. It is an essential and logical question to ponder and not intended in any way to generate fear or paranoia. On this site, I will not only look at near-death experiences, but also out-of-body experiences, pre-birth experiences, psychedelic experiences, alien abductions, meditation experiences, uh, mythology and ancient texts, for example, many other transcendental experiencers, including the Tibetan Book of the Dead, reveal the light is just one of the two polarities of duality in that beyond the light exists a clear light of awareness beyond time and space, thought and emotion, a peaceful neutrality. It is indescribable, but it is both light and dark, or neither light nor dark, a type of so-called void, which is a misleading misnomer that evokes the image of emptiness because it is non-duality, simultaneously nothing, yet everything. It has been likened to a womb or pre-creation containing all potentiality. Why should we elect to go to an external light or authority figure when, as all discipline suggests, our astral bodies are made of translucid, liquid light and we are connected to everything? And more importantly, that we are living in a dream and we have the power to manifest any reality, okay, through our focused intention. So why would we want to hand over that sovereignty to another being? And as quantum um, physics has shown us, there's an infinite energy present in every quantum zero point. That means that infinity is within us, and all we have to do is focus attention inward from a large perspective. The white light is an illusion as everything is a part of us and we are a part of everything. The nature of reality is holographic. It is consciousness awareness. Consciousness manifests what we perceive in reality. I have come to regret the name of the site as it seems to generate anxiety in some people. Okay, so they were trying to tell you transcend the light, all that kind of stuff. But I am just an average guy who's a researcher and philosopher. I don't pretend to know the truth. I do not know what happens after death. No one does for certain. This is just my speculation and my opinions. These very well may be wrong. Each person needs to go within and see what resonates as true. Okay, so... Yeah, um, pfft. this is a researcher that has spent their life right now reading up on, on on what happens in life after death. And as you can see, it's also fairly recently updated, 2020. So like even these sites that have like classic design, they're updated very recently. Most of my articles have focused on the spiritual side of things, but I want to focus more on the physical. We are living in unprecedented time, precedented times, a so-called new normal, fighting an invisible enemy, the powers that have been planning for this quite some time now. They're calling it a great reset. This is a great deal of civil unrest. The Boy Scouts have a motto, always be prepared. It might be a very good idea to prepare oneself, so you won't be relying on your government and FEMA. There is a decent chance that there will be food and water shortages as well as power outages. Let's go over some essentials for preparedness, including location, food, power. So he's got an always be prepared, which he, he teaches you how to take care of your location, how to take care of food, how to take care of water, like everything out there. And this is genuinely, you know, some decent survival advice. That said about it, though, I, I'm not going to condone the idea of, you know, government like great resets, these conspiracies until, you know, eh, it's it's the real case. But this is like a real shit hit the fan scenario. And he's talking about like tiny home on wheels, uh, RV or cargo or camper trailer, full size SUV like Chevy Tahoe or Ford Explorer. Uh, and then you've got food. So like, you know, he's going to tell you uh, Sam's Club of oatmeal, minute rice, ramen noodle, peanut butter and peanut butter crackers. He's also got like Naturade, vegan smart, all in one nutritional shake. So he's telling you what to buy and like how to set up and especially with water and, and everything else, health, uh, power. Uh, I mean, this is like really in-depth shit, man. This is really in-depth stuff. I mean, even if even like this is like a shit hit the fan type stuff. So this is like what you would want to look into if like the world had ended or some shit like that. Right. Like the like the super prepper stuff. So this is like all the other uh, ideologies. Like this is where we're going to get into each category of uh, of, I guess, like how to win the game of life and exit the illusionary matrix and like, you know, see what's beyond the light. Let's go to logos. 
All right, so Illuminati logos. All right, so let's go look at some of these Illuminati logos. SunTrust, SunSmart, SunTrans. These are Sun logos, but the Illuminati logos. Is Apple an Illuminati logo? Is it an Illuminati logo? What? I, is it? I can't tell. Is that really? Lady Gaga is an Illuminati symbol? I mean, oh, well, okay, so I guess America Online, because they've got the I, right? Uh, but, like, Really? Like, I don't know how Lady Gaga would end up being into that. But I guess these are all there. Like, you got the UN, Trick by Light, how souls are programmed to go to the moon and sun of death and be recycled as energy? Okay, you got, like, sun logos, the moon logos right here, eclipse logos, so the ring is there. Uh, which, that movie is actually quite good, I would say. Saturn logos, so yeah, Internet Explorer is, like, part of it, too. Great. Pyramid logos, so... K, all right, cool. G logos, Gatorade, maybe some G Fuel, Code Sog, by the way. All seeing I logos, AOL, Time Warner. So they're just logos that are categorized. I don't know how many of these have like a conspiracy attached to them, but but sure, cool language. Let's go see languages. Um, we spell words to pronounce a prison sentence or term. Word sisters, word sisters. Uh, cursive writing, words mean things, grammar or grimoire, gosha and cymatics. This is just, this is too much, man. This is a lot. Aliens? <laughs> you got some Studio Ghibli stuff? Aliens, man? What the fuck? What is this? Dreams of Demiurge? Cosmic Game? They're not joking around. This is filled with every, this is filled with anything you could imagine. The Shadow? The Shadow is an old radio show based on Pulp Fiction magazines and comic books and featured the tagline, Only the Shadow Knows, and who knows what evil lurks in the heart of men. The Shadow would bear witness against the criminal sin following men, recording their evil deeds and bringing them to justice. <sighs> what? <laughs> okay. Light? This is just the light and tunnel trapping? Guys, this is no joke. This is a lot of stuff being offered. Here's the matrix. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So we've already hit the fucking matrix. All right. We've already hit like the twilight zone, icing the body electric, joint of cell signs, Schumann resonance, the heart, electromagnetic field of the heart. The field of the heart is what keeps the soul imprisoned in the body. It is electromagnetic forces, not physical ones, that hold the soul in the body. Is that proven, though? Like, you just kind of said it, and, like, what, are we just supposed to fucking believe it? There's no source attributed to it. Here's, like, the brain. That's cool. Consciousness. So here it is. Human brain waves. Delta. Theta. Alpha. Beta. Gamma. Okay, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to be real with you. There's a lot of information being passed here. Here's what I do know. Here's what I know for a certain, okay? We spent almost 10 minutes on this segment alone. There's a lot to cover here. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add Trick by Light into my quest of rabbit hole searching because this also deserves its own fucking video. In fact, this whole concept deserves its own video. Life after death. That would be an interesting thing to tackle. And I feel like this site has enough for me to go off of. Mm. A couple with other resources to really tackle this kind of question. You probably will never get an answer to it because obviously no one has died and come back and told you how things really work. But it would be interesting to really look at it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to unfreeze my brain because I'm actually getting a little spent. Let's go somewhere else. Index of co.uk. Mm -mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you don't know what this looks like, obviously we've got some skeletons going around. We've got a lot of skeletons, actually. But this website is basically what happens when you take, like, an entire archive of, like, random documents and files and pretty much put them onto web. So this effectively has a million things you can go down to, all the way from ASP to AdSense, which I guess I'll open all of this. Let's see what ASP is all about. ASP Bible, all-in-one desk reference, database programming, weekend crash course, demystified, everyday apps for dummies, which I guess I might as well open. Ah, okay, so ASP, everyday, it's got entire books for you to mess around with. So I guess if you wanted to really understand ASP.net, then this is what it is. AdSense, revenue exposed. Getting started with Google, it's like you get a getting start idea, and then it's like, ah, we exposed the system. 
All right, now there's a lot to cover around, okay? So there, there's way too much. Let's go, let's get started with it, right? Like this is, it goes to Adobe, Agile Algorithms, Big Data Technologies, Black Hole Exploit Kit, Black Hat, C++, Casa, Cheat Sheet, Cheat Sheets, Quit Reference, Cisco. So a lot of it is to do with computer security and computer hacking. Uh, cryptology, for instance, you've got D-Link routers, which I guess we can open up and sort of understand and see. Uh, documentations.net, engineering, English, etc. Forensic, fake pharma, okay, uh, which now you're getting into like whole different fields. Uh, hack and crack, hackers, hacking collection, hardware, infosec, IT management, JBoss, Java, all right, and you've got Linux, you've got magazines, you've got malware, malware, uh, McGraw Hill, mathematics. I mean, it just goes on and on. Operating systems, pen testing, phishing, a lot of it is very hacker oriented. But there is still like the odd and end folder that has to do with something completely different, right? Like, for instance, here's fucking survival. All right, let's open up some survival theory of computation. So it's got like an entire black hat, white hat, gray hat, whatever hat you want to assess method of learning, whatever the fuck it is that you want. But let's go look around. So big data technologies, algorithm life. Big Data Bootcamp, Big Data, A Business and Legal Guide. And these are all just like big mega books, ladies and gentlemen. Like here's like an entire book that you can read, a 232 page book. It's just filled with, with a whole lot of information for you to just dive into. Scaling big data. So if you don't know what big data is, it's like data that's calculated, of course, on a bigger and a larger scale. This is an entire like documentation of it. Black, uh, here's like black hat technologies or something of the sort. Let me look around. So they've got GR botnet. So let's open up the GR botnet. Studying the GR botnet. So these are like, you know, fucking University of California, San Diego uh, research papers. Okay. Like this is a PhD student's research documentation on Google search poisoning. All right, so this is this is actually be a pretty interesting read if you're fucking into this, right? Search engine optimization campaign in a large scale coordinated effort to obtain user traffic through underhanded memes, feed traffic to scams like fake antiviruses, manipulate search results, support of botnet by compromised websites. Now here, on the other hand, you've also got dealing uh, like router stuff, right? So for instance, these are all like the user manuals for like multiple D-Link routers. So for instance, a DSL 2740B, this is like a, a fucking, a, what is it? Like a basic tech specification and like leaflet for it, right? And the benefit of having this uh, is that some of these instruction manuals, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you something fucked up about like D-Link routers, right? A lot of people that buy routers, some of them will actually not properly change the security parameters on their, on their router. So the problem with that and I've seen it a million times, by the way, is somebody will buy like a D-Link router they'll, or any router. It doesn't have to be a D-Link one, any router. They'll buy a router. They'll leave the stickers attached to it. But most importantly, uh, the stickers that contain the password for the Wi-Fi, which they won't change. They'll just keep using them. They won't even change the admin password. The thing with a lot of these D-Link routers is a lot of them come with admin passwords that are just like either their password, their admin, or like, you know, their, their like other passwords. Like they have like very generic passwords, right? That you would use like admin or whatever. And people don't change it. Some of them, they don't. They may change the Wi-Fi password and some of them don't actually change the administration password. So some people connect to the router, right? And if they manage to get in, they can like fucking immediately jump into the administration uh, setting of the router and do what they need to. Like, it's fucking insane what some people get away with. And some of these user manuals will give you the exact uh, passphrases that you would use, like the default passphrase, and people just jump in. Not that you would never really need any of them if you knew these off the top of your head and what to guess. But yeah, some of the routers, man, like they have good security to them. It's just like up to the fucking person to be that secure. Here's a, uh, here's the survival section, which they tell you a hidden street weapons, right? So this is uh, hidden weapons where they have an entire 35 pay check on shanks, spikes, razors, daggers, tontos, punch knives, double knives, balisongs. Don't even know what the fuck a balisong is. But uh, they, they've got they've got a bunch of street weapons and stuff that you could have. I mean, I guess if you were out on the cold, hard streets, this might be one of those things. You've got books on the secrets of street self-defense. And you even have like U.S. Army handbooks on what appears to be uh, certain firearms. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's what that's what you've got now. 
You also got malware, which uh, is just information on like teaching you how auto run programs, right? Like analyze all auto run, auto start programs. These are like little articles and like little uh, teaching instruction manuals written by, you know, God knows who. They're not even authored by anybody. And it's just to teach you about like, you know, basic stuff like uh, you, 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 your, your basic computer malware stuff and like how to start stuff like this is the auto run situation. <clears throat> And uh, it's, it's really what you it's really what you got going on over here, man. Like, it's just a, it's just like kind of, it's kind of like a fucking entry hackers paradise malware 101 viruses. Right. Global information assurance certification paper like these are these are full papers that you can see. Like you probably have to pay for these up somewhere, but they're just hosting it for free on like index of co.uk. And uh, here it is like getting results the agile way with a personal result. These are what the lessons for life. How to be a genius? Sure. Let's see. Let's see life lessons. Getting results the agile way, right? One thing is for certain. Change happens. Uh, it can it can I can I can I get this larger, please? It's it's really not. Oh, there it is. Zoom. Uh, change happens. It happens in your job and in your personal life. One of my favorite quotes on change is from John F. Kennedy. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past and present are certain to miss the future. As is the law of nature, our ability to adapt and change determines our success. To that end, we seek out the tools and practices that will bring about that success. When it comes to books, there are a wide variety of books that describe the next new approach or method, promising to improve efficiency and effectiveness. What I know, ladies and gentlemen, is I've already given this one way too much of my time. This is an entire hosting for tons, hundreds upon hundreds of documents that may pertain to people, you know, to learn certain skill sets or whatever. What I do know is I have given it enough time. And what I also know is I'm going to back out of this <laughs> and go somewhere else. And ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of deep web browsing, dark web browsing, dank web browsing, the part of the week where we'd look at the danker side of the internet. This week was intriguing, ladies and gentlemen. I looked at some really fucking fun stuff, some wild stuff, a lot of conspiracy-laden stuff, and we actually pretty much got two rabbit holes that I'll be going into months down the road, whenever, when I truly get the time to assess this kind of stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, I think my favorite was learning how to consult with my horses. And, and maybe, maybe, if I get hammered and if I have a few more of these vodkas, I'll probably end up learning how to train my horse the right way. Maybe I'll even find a... A, 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 a nice significant other and we can do couples training therapy on getting our favorite horse mm. who knows i've done weirder stuff in my life that being said though ladies and gentlemen if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe dislike it if you dislike it i am